Hi everybody, thank you for clicking on my video. I just got this um, and uh, it was given to me through work so I did not buy it with my own money but it's a brand new J'adore flanker. It's J'adore Infissime and the bottle that I have is a 100 ml bottle and it looks a lot like the regular J'adore bottle just except with this one is that this part of the necklace so to say is dragging down a bit you there's a really nice beautiful photo of uh Charlize Theron where she's wearing this necklace that kind of drapes along her collarbone she's very beautiful and she's all been uh the face for this fragrance for quite a while I don't necessarily think she's the best choice um I do have a review on my channel of the original J'adore Eau de Parfum. I will put the link below. Sorry about that camera. And um, so this fragrance just came out a couple weeks ago in September of this year, 2020. And uh, so if you want to know my opinion about the original, you can just watch my video. I'm not a huge fan of florals and this is a highly floral fragrance. However, this is my very first impression of this. I've never smelled this before. Um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about what it. So uh, it is available in a 50 mil for $129 and a 100 mil for $185. I'll post the link down below. Sephora does carry it now. Most retailers do as well. Um, and uh, it's made uh, again by the in-house perfumer, Francois de Demici. And uh, he also made the original. He made a whole bunch of others, just hundreds of perfumes by Christian Dior. He also made um, Aqua de Parma Oud and I think Tiffany and Company, the original. And um, so the, the thing about this fragrance is that it's pretty much the same DNA as the original uh, J'adore. So I did have a master class about this fragrance. So I want to try to tell you what I remember about it. So um, the triforce <laughs> or trifecta of flowers that are in the original is rose, jasmine, sand block, and ylang ylang. So what this fragrance is, is that they've added like a super dose of tuberose in it. So that's where this fragrance is different than the original. So the top notes are bergamot, blood orange, and pink pepper. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, sand block, ylang ylang, Lily of Valley and Tuberose, and the base note is Sandalwood. So um, the middle notes are uh, really um, taking the center stage here. The bottle is really pretty. Uh, doesn't look that much different than the regular bottles. <laughs> Definitely not, but I've always liked the J'adore bottle. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, like in uh, tribes in Southeast Asia where they wear this necklace to represent femininity. I think it's really a cool idea. I really like that idea and I love their um, outfits. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's just a reminder of every, everybody's di has, every culture has a different version of what they uh, deem as feminine. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, pretty much if you look at the original bottle, they pretty much look identical <laughs> almost. So um, let's give this a smell. The sprayer on these are always good. Um, Dior has really good sprayers, so. Wow, I can already smell the tuberose in that. So, um, okay, so. Okay, so this is different than the original. Um, I did have a little sample of the original. I would have it here. Probably wouldn't get an idea for me to keep it, but I actually gave it away. Um, but, um, yeah, it does smell like tuberose more than anything else. <laughs> Absolutely. It is really, really centered along that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Frederick Mall fragrance called Carnal Flower, which is like the highest concentration tuberose on the market. But this smells pretty high concentration. It's definitely there. It's rose, it's it's very elegant. It's not necessarily something I would wear for myself. Um, I just feel like I'm not the kind of individual to wear it, but I can, but I can honestly tell you, I think I actually really like it more than the original. 
it's not sweet, but it is soapy, but it's not that kind of like um, shampoo soapiness that I smelled with the original. This smells more like true like flowers, kind of like a flower shop. Yeah, I would say so. I don't particularly dislike it. Um, I'm not saying that this fragrance has changed my mind with florals, but I don't think it's that bad actually but it does smell kind of clean and floral at the same time it's a very very classy scent I would definitely say so so I'm going to spray it on my skin I'm a little nervous <laughs> um I'm going to spray here the sprayer on these is really good it feels very solid the bottle is very heavy and so is the um lid I always liked the bottle. I always did. But, um, okay, so I'm gonna, I sprayed it on my wrist and, uh, yeah, it smells pretty much the same as it does on my paper. It smells like, I don't smell any blood orange, which really sucks because I absolutely love blood orange so much. But, um, but yeah, it smells like real flowers. It does. It does not smell like fake artificial flowers. They smell quite real i mean dior for a designer house as well as mogler in my opinion are pretty good i mean some dior fragrances are very hit or miss there's a lot more by mogler that i like but i feel like in terms of quality uh just that continuity of the um brand loyalty is there for sure um yeah it smells a little soapy it is a little milky, actually. Now the milkiness is coming out from the sandalwood, so that's not bad. Um, not too much Lily of the Valley, which I don't particularly like, but I do smell rose, a little bit of jasmine. Like, it's giving that, like, weird butteriness that jasmine has that sometimes I really don't like, but it's not... It's kind of blended well. Um, I actually think it's really, really well blended. I really do. So I'm going to come back in a couple hours and let you know how this is settling on my skin and all that kind of stuff. Hey guys, so now I'm back and um, so I've sprayed this about three hours ago. This is Eau de Parfum, by the way. I'm going to let you know what this smells like. So it's still there. <laughs> it's not as strong as it was, but there is definitely a projection with this. Um, I sprayed it um, a little bit got on my shirt here and I definitely smell it in the air like I'm in the kitchen I could smell it for sure I always felt like Shador was really good with sillage and projection I thought it was always really well done that way but I actually don't particularly hate it there is a powderiness to it there's a milkiness to it there is a bit of a tropical floral vibe going on because of tuberose kind of has like coconut scent like coconut quality about it as well as probably the um ylang ylang too um it just smells doesn't smell that bad actually um i particularly think that it's a good modern sexy version of the original jadora so if you're in the store um, or um, if, you, if you're able to get a sample, if you order online something or order a decant or something like that, then definitely give it a try. Um, I don't think you should blind buy this because I think that not everybody likes tuberose and you could definitely smell it more than anything else for sure. It is strong in tuberose as the way carnal flower is in my opinion. So uh, that's my review, my honest review of Chador Infisime, <laughs> my video. And do have a great day and um, stay safe wherever you are. Bye-bye.